In this video, I want to talk about AI, artificial intelligence, and how that can impact you as a performer, especially if you do video work. After uh, the introduction, I will show you a short video that I made almost entirely using AI elements. Join me in just a sec. Hey there, my name is Doug Fall, and this is Augmented Actor, where we help you augment your acting career with tips, tactics, and tech. So as I said, I have a short video for you to watch which was made entirely of AI. Let's take a look at it. Acting is a human concept, and therefore artificial intelligence will not be able to emulate acting, as it is impossible for computers to comprehend or feel. However, given enough computing power and access to a large database of movies or in the future live feeds, an advanced machine learning program could simulate an actor's behavior fairly accurately. The implications of AI-enabled acting are twofold. First, it will change the way people act on stage or in front of a camera by removing any trace human emotion and replacing it with machine precision. Second, AI-enabled acting will also change the way people view actors in general. As a result of their inability to simulate human emotion on screen and stage, an actor who is replaced by an advanced machine learning system will become instantly obsolete. However, in the near future it is likely that human actors will work together with AI-enabled systems to create more realistic scenarios. For example, we could simulate a crowd scene and add as many people as necessary to achieve the desired result. Similarly, some of the more basic roles in the movies could be replaced by artificial intelligence-enabled programs to enhance human actors' performances and make a movie appear more believable. An example is simulating lighting or weather effects with a small computing cluster. As a conclusion, I believe that it will change the way acting is perceived and understood by humans. It may even become an integral part of movie making in the future. So let me talk about how I created this piece using AI. Uh, the script was written by AI using a program called Philosopher AI, which is available in app form on the Google Store and the iOS Store. It allows you to put a prompt in, a subject, a sentence, a question, and then AI will immediately write a monologue. For this video, I use the prompt, what impact will AI have on acting? And it immediately spit out a monologue that sounded very reasonable, very well thought out, and I used that as my script. And I did it a few times and came up with a completely different script each time I used the same question. This program is remarkably clever at sounding like a human being. In fact, it's really hard to tell that this was written by a robot <laughs> or an artificial intelligence. It is based on the GPT-3 neural network model, which is a language-based model, and it scours the internet and other sources to study the way language is spoken and written and then it emulates that by coming up with its own text based on certain prompts that you give it and each time you give it the same prompt it's going to come up with completely different text now it's not quite perfect yet you can sometimes tell that it's a, an ai talking because it'll contradict itself or or it just won't quite finish the thought in a way that a human might but it's pretty dang good and in fact i've used this tool many times to come up with ideas for a video. If I have a subject that I'm, I'm doing a video on, I will type it into the AI to see what it comes up with because it sometimes will bring up ideas that I, like, I had never even considered and then I, uh, I'll change the, the direction that I'm gonna go with the video based on what this AI spit out. Let me show you another example of the same question typed into this AI with me reading it and you can see how human it sounds when it comes out of a human's mouth. I think that AI will replace actors in film, as it is much easier to create an avatar of a person with AI than it is to find the right human for a role. For example, imagine all of the variables required to have an actor play someone who stutters. The actor has to be able to stutter well enough that it looks like they're actually doing it, while not making it so obvious that the audience is distracted by the fact that they're reading from a script. They also have to make sure not to overdo the stuttering as then no one would pay attention to what they say. If you have an AI that is trained on thousands of hours of video footage, even if the actor only has a few minutes worth of characteristics to replicate, it will do so better than any human. So wasn't that amazing? I literally copied that word for word from the Philosopher AI app, plugged it into my teleprompter and read it off the screen. It sounds so like myself even. This might put writers out of business. Maybe one day, AI will write things for us that are better than the things that we can write ourselves. I hope not, but it could be. Now let's go on to how AI created the voice that was used in this video. It's my voice, 
and it is just completely controlled and learned by AI. I went to a, a site called Resemble AI, which already has several completed voices that you can plug text into and have it re read back. And these voices are super clear and almost indistinguishable from a human. You can tell little glitches here and there as, as text is read uh, that challenges it, but it's pretty, pretty amazing. When one enters the theater to watch an act, he or she experiences a performance with all kinds of characters pretending to be different people. In the end, an actor is just an ordinary person pretending to be someone he or she isn't. I noticed a quote from Aristotle that said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act but a habit. And you can also build your own voice in this site. You read a series of 50 different sentences into the microphone, and then it analyzes those sentences and builds a voice that you can name after yourself. Then you can take chunks of text, plug it into this machine, and it will read it back in your voice. However, all of this is in reference to the outside world and not from within. So sometimes this voice recording doesn't quite work. For certain words I found, it would do weird things like this. An example is creepy. Which is pretty funny. Uh, it got tripped up on one of the words in the dialogue, and as soon as I changed that word, it was, would it be able to pronounce it all correctly. But one little word triggered this uh, meltdown. <laughs> Now let's talk about that quirky looking character that, that did all the talking. That is basically a combination of AI elements and my own uh, tweaking of designs. So basically my process was I went to a 3D character builder. It's a program called Fuse. It allows you to build 3D characters much like you would build an avatar in a long form game. Uh, you can use sliders to create facial features, body parts, change your clothing, and you sort of build this avatar up. I would then zoom in on my character's face and take screenshots of the character and I would change the mouth shape to represent the different vowel sounds, E, A, E, I, O, U, and different consonants that you would put together to create an animation. And then I went into Photoshop and I cut out all those different mouth shapes and pl plugged them into their own um, PNG file. Then I took those files and I put them into a program called Character Creator, which is owned by Adobe. And this program uses AI elements to animate 2D characters. AI analyzes your dialogue and it automatically assigns the proper mouths to the words that are being spoken. An advanced machine learning program could simulate an actor's behavior fairly accurately. Then to create animations for other elements like eye blinks and eyebrow raises, head tilts, things like that. You actually go on a video camera, the AI analyzes your facial movements in real time and applies them to the puppet and therefore you can create pretty neat animations. So the next site I went to was called MuseNet. So it basically allows you to pick a style of music. I chose the Beatles. And it allows you to start with an introduction from a, as an established piece. And in this case, I chose Beethoven's Fur Elise. And then you can pick your instrumentation and then it spits out about four to eight bars of music. So you basically build a piece of music and it's based off of just one measure at the very beginning. Another example of this, I used the opening bars from Let It Go from Frozen and it created this piece for me.
So there are some geometric patterns that were used in the video. I pulled those from a site called Every Pixel, which uses AI generated graphics and they're basically just still images. And then I took them into DaVinci Resolve. I did some animation and layering in with, with the pattern itself. So that was not AI. The animated part was not AI. But a little later on in the video, there's some morphing landscapes. That was created at a site called Art Breeder, where you can take three, four, five different images and it will uh, use AI technology to analyze those images and crossfade them in ways that kind of build the geometry up and down and make it sort of an interesting pattern. It's a simple little thing, but it's very effective in a video. And so finally, in the thumbnail that I made for this video is some of the AI elements that are used in still image creation. There's a picture of my face that has been cartoonified. And uh, this is done on a site called Toonify. And it takes a photo, it analyzes it, and it uses AI elements to create a Pixar quality character. And it's just basically for still images. The other picture I used in the thumbnail is a picture of me that has been morphed using Art Breeder's software. And basically it takes the picture and you can use sliders to make yourself younger or older. You can change your race, you can change your gender, you can change your weight. You can also change the shape of your face and, and morph it into all different directions. So I chose a couple of those images to put in the thumbnail as well. Now, sooner or later, they're gonna apply this to uh, video and that will be amazing because you can just create characters based off of your own self. But we're not there yet. There's potential here with AI. You, using these things as a tool for the actor and the performer can help you come up with more creative concepts, can come up with ideas for creating your own material. There's always gonna be somebody behind the scenes making the creative decisions, acting out the moments, puppeting the things, or coming up with the ideas to put this all together into a co cohesive narrative, a storytelling. So what, how, what is your thought on AI and, and what it means for the world and what it means for actors and performers in general? Are, does it uh, scare you? Does it excite you? I wanna know in the comments below. Now you can see bonus footage from this video where I go a little bit more in depth into each of these softwares and, and show you some alternative softwares as well by visiting my Patreon page. Become a patron and you can see my uh, extra bonus content and uh, behind the scenes, blooper reels, all kinds of fun little extra videos uh, for those who become patrons. Hey, remember if you like this video, hit like because it helps me out and there are some other videos on your screen with some related subjects that I think you'll enjoy. Have a good day and don't have too many AI nightmares.